Hello guys, Benny of Free Benny's Kitchen. Today's recipe, we are preparing bean soup. Bean soup is mainly known by the Igala or Igura people of the middle part of uh, Nigeria. So today I'm going to be taking you guys there by preparing this bean soup. So on the table, I have my stock fish, dry fish. I'm using assorted meat, goat meat, beef, cow skin, cow tribe, that is what I'll be using to prepare this um, soup. You can use chicken, you can use smoked turkey. Any protein of your choice can go with this soup. I have my salt, onions, locust beans, crayfish, and I'll be using all peppers. I'm using um, cayenne pepper and um, scotch bonnet pepper. Time for the meat seasoning. Then of course, I always like using some dry Cameroon pepper because it gives my food a kind of sweet um, taste and flavor. Then we are using bouillon cube oil. I'll be using ugu and bitter leaf. You can use any leaf of your choice. So that is the fresh ugu and the already washed bitter leaf. Then of course the beans, which is the cocoa of this soup. That is the dried beans. We are going to blend it dry. So people do wash their own and blend wet, but I'll be using it in a dry form. So guys, join me as we do this together. First of all, I'll just put the meat in the pot let it boil with its own juice before we continue the cooking so now let me get my pot add my meat and then season so now this is the pot i'm adding the meat i'm adding the meat then i'll season with just thyme with just thyme and the bouillon cube then I'll add salt and onions. This is the thyme I'm adding. Then I'll be adding some chopped onions. Then I'll be adding salt. Then bouillon cube. This is just all I'll be using to boil this meat. But I'll allow it to boil with its own juice before I add the water it's going to use to boil. So let me take it now to the gas cooker for it to start boiling. While the meat is on the fire cooking, let me chop off these um, already washed ugu leaves. Like I said, you can use any leaf of your choice. You have to cut it thinly. My people, this is after five to eight minutes. I want to check on the meat because it has been boiling with its own juice. So now I'll add uh, water so it can continue boiling because of the goat meat that takes time to boil. You can see that uh, before I add that water now, you can see the water that is boiling with that is its own juice. So I'll now add water. So this is okay now. And if you continue boiling, with this so I'll cover the pot again and let it keep boiling so guys the meat is already cooked you can see I've changed the pot so we can start cooking but before we continue if you are joining me for the first time please hit the subscribe button if you have been following me thank you so very much keep liking my videos keep sharing my videos and always give the video a thumbs up please so let us continue the pot is dry now so i'll just add in some palm oil i'm adding the chopped onions now and let the onions fry for like two minutes the onions have been fine for two minutes now so i'll add the blended pepper mix allow it to cook too let it cook very very well you can see the tomato, uh, the pepper is cooking it's cooked for like three minutes so add in the iru that is the iru that i just added
and I'll add the crayf the dry fish and the stock fish head. They are together. I'm adding crayfish, bouillon cube, then I'm adding some Cameroon pepper. But you cannot tolerate hotness in your food, then just add the ones that you can tolerate. I like my food to be a bit hot. So now I'll go in with the boiled um, protein. And I'll add in some more water to cook. Then cover the pot and let it bubble. I'll stir everything now and then I'll cover the pot, let it keep cooking. See how our soup is bubbling. So guys, I will now add in our dry blended uh, beans. This is how it looks like after blending. So I will now add it gradually into the soup. So add it gradually and after adding you stir to know if you have gotten the thickness you want because you don't want it to be too thick. I think I have the right consistency I want now. So I'll cover the pot and let it cook and let any lump of beans dissolve very, very well. Our soup is bubbling and bubbling and bubbling. So I'll add some salt now. Then I'll add in the leaves. I'm adding bitter leaf and I'm adding ugu. You can use any leaf of your choice, like I earlier said. Then I'll add in some more crayfish. Then I'll stir very well, because I don't want the leaf to be overcooked. Then I'll test for salt. Wow, the aroma in my kitchen is smelling Igala, Igala, Igala people of, of um, Kogi State, because this is their soup. Let me test for salt. You can see how thick it is now, so you don't add too much of the beans. Mmm! Mmm! So, so yummy. So, I'll cover the pot now and let the leaf cook some more, then I'll turn off the heat. So, guys, our soup is ready. Our bean soup is ready. Bean soup is ready, so please, if you haven't prepared this before, I think you should try and do so, and let me know in the comment section. So guys, I'll turn off the heat now, and we are good to go. This can go with correct swallow, as in oatmeal, correct pounded diam, correct fufu or gari, any swallow of your choice. You can even use to eat rice, if you want to eat rice, it's still okay. So guys, we are done here now, I'll turn off my heat, uh, the heat. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.